the forest floor blurred beneath his feet, each step a desperate attempt to outrun the shadows that seemed to close in from all sides. The ground was uneven, roots and rocks threatening to trip him with every stride, but he couldn't afford to slow down. The dense canopy above filtered the sunlight, casting eerie patterns on the forest floor, making it even harder to navigate. Each desperate breath, a rasp in the heavy air, felt like fire in his lungs. His chest heaved with the effort, the oxygen barely enough to keep his muscles moving. The forest air was thick with humidity, making every breath a struggle, but he had no choice but to push through the discomfort. He clutched a tattered bag, its contents worth more than his life. The bag was old and worn, the fabric fraying at the edges, but it held something precious, something that could change everything. He couldn't let it fall into the wrong hands. The weight of the bag was a constant reminder of the burden he carried, both physically and mentally. The drug lord, a shadow amongst shadows, knew only one thing, escape. His life had been a series of close calls and narrow escapes, but this time felt different. The forest, with its dense undergrowth and towering trees, was both his ally and his enemy. It provided cover, but also hid dangers he couldn't see. He had evaded the police before, slipping through their fingers like water. They were relentless, but so was he. Every encounter had taught him something new. Every escape had made him more cunning. He knew their tactics, their weaknesses, and he used that knowledge to stay one step ahead. This time, the stakes were higher, the danger palpable. The forest seemed to close in around him, the trees whispering secrets to each other as he passed. He could feel the tension in the air, the sense that something was about to snap. The adrenaline coursing through his veins was the only thing keeping him going. The scent of freedom, tinged with fear, spurred him onward. He could almost taste it, the sweet promise of safety just out of reach. But with every step, the fear grew stronger the realization that he might not make it gnawing at the edges of his mind. He had to keep moving, had to keep believing that he could outrun his fate. He dared not look back, the echo of shouts a constant reminder of the pursuit. The voices seemed to come from all directions, disorienting him, but he couldn't afford to lose focus. Every second counted, Every step brought him closer to freedom or capture. The forest was a maze, and he had to find his way through it. His heart pounded against his ribs, a frantic drumbeat urging him forward. The sound was deafening in his ears, drowning out everything else. It was a reminder of his own mortality, of the thin line between life and death. He had to keep going, had to find a way out. The bag, heavy with its illicit cargo, swung rhythmically with his stride. It was a constant weight, a reminder of the choices he had made and the consequences he now faced. Every swing was a promise and a threat, a reminder of what was at stake. He pushed himself harder, his lungs burning, legs screaming for respite. The pain was almost unbearable, but he couldn't stop. Not now, not when he was so close. He had to dig deep, find the strength to keep going, to push through the exhaustion and the fear. The forest, once a sanctuary, had become a treacherous labyrinth. Every turn seemed to lead him deeper into its depths, every path a potential dead end. But he couldn't give up. He had to find a way out, had to believe that there was a way to escape the shadows that hunted him. Hong, a young man with a quick smile and an even quicker mind, surveyed the scene with quiet satisfaction. He had always felt a deep connection to nature, a bond that seemed to grow stronger with each visit to the forest. Today, 
he was not alone in his appreciation. The forest was alive with the energy of youth, a stark contrast to the serene environment that usually enveloped him. The students, abuzz with excitement, explored the clearing, their laughter echoing through the trees. They darted from one discovery to the next, their eyes wide with wonder as they encountered the myriad of life forms that called the forest home. Each child seemed to find their own little piece of magic, whether it was a particularly colorful insect, a uniquely shaped leaf, or the simple joy of running freely in the open space. A school trip, a chance to escape the confines of the city, to reconnect with nature's embrace. For many of these children, it was their first time experiencing the forest in such an intimate way. The trip was more than just an educational outing. It was an opportunity to foster a lifelong appreciation for the natural world. The teachers and volunteers hoped that these moments would plant seeds of curiosity and respect that would grow as the children did. Hong, volunteering as a guide, felt a sense of responsibility for their safety, their enjoyment. He moved among the children, answering questions, pointing out interesting plants and animals, and ensuring that everyone stayed together. His role was not just to guide them physically through the forest, but to help them navigate the experience emotionally and intellectually. He wanted each child to leave with a sense of wonder and a deeper understanding of the world around them. He watched as they scattered, their brightly coloured clothes like splashes of paint against the verdant backdrop. The forest seemed to come alive with their presence, each child adding their own unique energy to the landscape. The sight reminded Hong of his own childhood, of days spent exploring the woods near his home, and he felt a pang of nostalgia mixed with joy. The air hummed with the sounds of nature, birdsong, the rustle of leaves, the gentle murmur of the nearby stream. These sounds formed a symphony that was both calming and invigorating, a reminder of the delicate balance that existed in the natural world. Hong found himself tuning into these sounds, letting them wash over him and ground him in the present moment. Hong took a deep breath, the fresh air invigorating, he felt the tension of the city life melt away, replaced by a profound sense of peace and clarity. It was moments like these that reminded him why he volunteered for these trips, why he felt it was so important to share the beauty and tranquility of nature with others. For a moment, the world seemed at peace, a far cry from the chaos that lay hidden within the forest's depths. The sunlight filtered through the canopy casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. It was a scene of perfect harmony, a reminder of the simple yet profound beauty that nature offered. Hong hoped that the children would carry this memory with them, a touchstone of calm and wonder in their busy lives. The day wore on, filled with laughter, exploration, and the shared joy of discovery. The children,